Hello, it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty and I feel like I've been away for ages um, but anyway I'm back and I'm back with this sweet little project of mine. Um, I came up with the idea of making a little coffee pot and adapting the baker's, um, the baker's box die by stamping up. So I've taken it, I've given the box a little handle here on the side um, I've made this little nozzle just by adapting how you put the box together. Uh, I thought it made a really nice little coffee pot and a nice little box for um, lots of little um, chocolate treats like these. But I felt that the little coffee pot warranted a couple of little coffee cups and this sweet little tray. Okay, and all in all, I think that this little um, set would look really lovely wrapped up in um, some cellophane, um, done up with a nice great big maybe a red bow and gifted to somebody. I just think it would make a really really pretty little presentation pack. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this um, tutorial together in two parts. So for the first part I'm just going to concentrate on making the little coffee pot um, and then the second part of the tutorial will be showing you how to make the tray and how I've made these super little reinforced cups. Um, they're sort of double thickness so they're really quite nice and sturdy. Um, so those, those are going to be the subject of a separate tutorial. Okay so I'm just going to go through and run you through some of the um, things that I've used to make this one. Okay so these lovely papers are from um, a new set of designer series papers called Sending Love. Okay, and uh, it's this pack here, the six by six papers, double sided, lots of pretty designs. Um, and for mine, I took that design. Um, for the little coffee pot I'm going to put together for you in a minute, I've used slightly different papers. I'm using these tiny, tiny little hearts that you can see here. Okay, so those are the papers. This little embellishment here comes from some lovely wooden embellishments called the Sending Love Embellishment. So Sending Love, it's like a whole suite. You get, um, there's an adorable stamp set um, and then there's some fantastic dies and this little arrow here is one of the little dies from the set. So I'm just about to um, show you that before I go much further. Okay, so here are the Sending Love dies and as you can see there's an awful lot of them. They're all little, they're all wee apart from this lovely one here which is, can be used for edging your cards and, and things. I am going to be doing making some cards so I will show you that on my blog later. But um, here you can see these other little elements. So this here is like a little envelope die. So you can make pretty little envelopes to put on your cards and you can embellish them with all these little shapes here. That's like a, another, um, like a little, um, I don't know quite what you call them. It's kind of like an envelope and it kind of just folds out and opens. Um, so we've got these bits and then we've got these dear, dear little arrows here. And here's one. This is the one I'm going to be using to decorate this box. So I've already gone ahead as you can see there and I've cut out the, um, the, the die. So I'll pop that to one side. So anyway, you're getting a, quite a lot in there for your money and you can have a lot of fun with that. So those are the Love Notes dies. Um, they do coordinate with the stamp set. Okay, and this is the stamp set. And this is called Sealed with Love. And all these little shapes that you see here, like this little row of hearts and those, you can use the little dies from in this pack here. Those are the little hearts which coordinate with these and you can die cut them to go on your on your projects. So it's a really nice um, set. Well, I think it's a nice set. It's a nice suite. Um, Valentine's is coming up soon, so it's going to be very lucky, uh, very useful for that. Um, but I think it's just going to be useful overall because, I mean, we all put like to put lots of pretty hearts and things on various projects. You could use it for wedding projects, anniversaries, engagements. So not just tied in with Valentine's, but nevertheless, it's a very useful set to have and certainly very useful when combined here with the Love Notes framelits, which you can buy as a bundle. Um, I don't have the price on me, but I will be putting it on my blog. 
Okay, so first up, what you need to do is take yourself two pieces of card. Now I took an uh, A4 sheet of paper and, and I cut it down, I cut it in half. So, yeah, um, roughly, what's that? Let me just quickly measure that for you. Okay, so it's cut down to roughly about five and seven eighths of an inch down the middle. Okay, and then um, I simply took the die, the baker's box die here, which again comes with all lots of little um, useful bits and pieces. Okay, so this is the basic die for cutting the box. Okay, now I'm going to be using this little one also later on, which helps to make the handle. From my coffee pot so I'll keep that out um, but yeah as I say you you know there's lots of useful little bits and pieces here as part of the baker's box um, thinlet dies. so I went ahead and I've, I've gone I've run this through my big shot so now I'm left with um, these two templates here okay and so i'm just going to grab my bone folder now and i'm just going to go around and lightly burnish all of these score lines i'm not going to overdo it because i think um, the dies actually make the card a little fragile in places so i'm just going to lightly do that Okay, so you're going to need some double-sided tape. I don't believe that I actually burnished these, so I'm just going to I'm just going to press that with my finger because I actually don't think you need to go mad with the bone folder. Okay, so turning these around this way, I'm just going to take my um, double-sided tape now. some down here we do the same on this one now ready to assemble the box so I'm going to take this off of here uh, what you need to do is if you look at this there's like a triangle here okay and when the box goes together you've got one side that's going to be inverted so you're going to have an inverted triangle like that Okay, but with the other piece, you want it to be coming out this way. Okay, so you're going to take your score lines and it's going to be coming out that way rather than being inverted. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this one together. So I'll pop that there and then line it up nice and close to the edge like that. Okay. And I'm just going to remove these. And marry these up. So nice and close here to the edge. And then along here like so. Okay, so you can see now that you've got that the basic coffee pot shape.
taking shape. Okay, and then it's just a question of putting the bottom together. Now this is the bit I always find tricky, so um, I do apologise. I'm really not very good at this bit. I'm sure there's a, a knack, um, which I haven't quite discovered yet. But I do believe that goes under there like that. That goes, <laughs> I do believe that that goes under there like that. This goes under there like that. And then this bit here slots in there so that your bottom of your box looks something like that. Now um, I'm just going to take myself some glue and I'm just going to glue the bottom down. Oops, wrong side. That's clever. <laughs> so just there we go. You can tell I haven't done a blinking video for ages. So that's going to go down like that, and that's going to go like that. I'm just going to turn the box upside down and let that go off. So there's our basic box done. Um, and I'm just going to um, I'm just going to punch out a couple of holes here at the top, which oh, it's not sticking yet. Come on. Um, where's my? Let's do that. I've got here my little um, one eighth of an inch handheld circle punch. I'm just going to push these two bits here together. I'm going to punch out a hole like that. Hold it firmly together and punch out another one roughly at the same height. And there, I'm just going to put some ribbon through there, just to tie the top together. Um, but obviously you're going to put your chocolates inside first. Um, so I'm just going to get on, tie myself a ribbon, and then I'm going to set about decorating the rest of the box and cutting the handles. Okay, so the ribbon's on, um, and I'm now going to show you how to make and put the handles on. So I'm going to grab my Big Shot for this part. I'm not sure how much you're going to see, so I might have to adapt this slightly. So I've got the Big Shot, um, and I have got the Big Shot platform, which is a new one, stamping up, um, and I've got this thin die adapter. And we're going to need I'm sorry about the state of my cutting plates and whatever, they are pretty awful. So you're going to need this part. Um, you're going to be concentrating on using this part here, this this rounded bit, which forms like the, the top of the lid, really. Okay. And I'm also going to be using this little bit here. Okay. okay, so for the lid, I've got this little piece of paper here. I'm just checking my measurements. Don't look because my writing's dreadful. Right, okay. So for the handle, you need a piece of cardstock uh, that measures two and three quarters by three inches. And on the short side, you're going to score at uh, one and a half inches. Okay, so I've scored there. So what you need to do is place your cardstock down. So I'm going to concentrate on this little piece here, this side of the triangle first. And I'm going to take my die and I'm going to lie it down like this on this piece of card so that you've got, if you look at this, there's like a tiny little piece overhanging here, which is probably about a quarter of an inch, something like that. Now I'm just going to take this piece and lay that inside. Some people use bits of um, washi tape and things like that for this bit, but I'm just going to pop this down here now like so. Fairly happy with the way that is going. And I'm just going to run this through my big shot. Okay. 
so there we go we've got that I'm just going to do exactly the same again now so I'm going to turn my card this way now so on this half I'm going to place this in exactly the same way so I'm going to pop it like that so that there's roughly about a quarter of an inch showing that side of the edge I'm just going to take this again pop this on here like so Okay, so you can see you've got that now. Okay, so here's my two handles. Now you can see, dispensing this a couple of little bits of overhang, I got rid of a bit on here as well. So they're looking roughly like that now. And the die has actually created like this crease line here so I'm going to utilize that now just lightly fold that on this one okay and then just going to glue the handle together I'm going to glue these two pieces like that so I'm going to pop some glue down here and round here going to glue those together let that go off and set okay so I'll just stick that to one side and then I'm just going to give you the measurements now for the panels for decorating this sweet little pot so so all in all you need five pieces Okay, and so let's have a look. You need two that measure two and three eighths of an inch by one and a quarter, so that's those two, and these are going to be the bits that are going to pop on the two top panels here and here. Okay, so that's those two. Then you're going to need two pieces for this side and for that side. Now these two measure two and three eighths by two inches. Okay, so that's for there. And you've got one for the other side and then finally you've got this piece that's going to go here under the nozzle of your pot and this piece measures two by two so i'm going to go ahead now and i'm just going to get those all adhered in the hope that my handle's going to be nice and dry and set and ready to put on and just for the um to save some time i'm going to use my snail so this is for the little bit that under the nozzle so I'm going to pop that bit on there nice and central I'm going to do the side bits Okay, so that's that done. And you can see it's beginning to look really quite pretty now. So I'm just going to take my handle, 
and I'm just going to pop some double sided tape here you can see the glue hasn't quite gone off but it's good enough for me to stick down now so I'm just going to put some double sided tape down here and here And then you just want to find like the centre on the back. I'll try and get this on nice and straight. Actually, it's a little long. So what I'm going to do? I'm just going to. I forgot I had to do this. Actually, I'm just going to take a bit off of there. I'm going to do a bit on the other side. Yeah, I had actually forgotten that I had to do that. Let's pull this bit out of the way. So yeah, just want to make sure it's not too tall. So that's. Roughly, yeah, that's going to sit there now. Sorry about that. See, I do these sort of projects days in advance and then I kind of um, forget the little tips that I'm supposed to give you as I go along. So I do apologise. But anyway, this goes on here, like so. Sits nice and flush there on that back panel. So that's my little coffee pot. And you can just play around with neatening off this bit. Hopefully you're going to agree that looks really quite sweet. Um, and now I'm just going to um, get on with putting a little bit of embellishment here on the front. So what I've done for this is I've just um, used my layering circles framelits. I selected one which I felt was an appropriate size to fit there. Um, I think this one's slightly bigger than that one. Don't really think it matters too much, but as long as your circle, your embellishment sits kind of, you know, nice, nicely within that panel, then um, you know that's going to be absolutely fine. So I know this one's slightly bigger, but actually I quite like it that size. Um, so just have a little play around and um, see what size suits you. So I'm just going to pop this on. And then I've got my lovely wooden embellishments and I'm just going to select one of the hearts. So as you can see, you've got lots of pretty little bits and pieces here. You've got some tiny hearts, you've got some hollow hearts. Um, I just think it's a really nice set and I do love these little flowers as well. They're really sweet. Um, so yeah, there's a nice selection of um, little wooden embellishments in there. So I'm just going to take this one now and I'm going to use a glue dot to stick that down. I'm just going to pop it centrally like that. There we go. In fact, probably wise to either use um, a wet glue or put plenty of glue dots on, but I'm doing this quickly. Um, so, so here I have got my little arrow that came out of the die set that I showed you earlier. I love this. I think it's so dinky. I'm just going to pop that out like so okay and um, turn it around the right way and i'm just going to do this this is the easiest way i found for these tricky thin dies i'll take that and then i'm just going to lie that across the front here i just leave that to set um, so there we go that's my sweet little coffee pot I do hope you like them um, and I am going to come back and show you how to make the sweet little tray that it goes on and the dinky little coffee cups as well so that's um, my finished coffee pot for today's tutorial I'm going to move things around here on my tray um, those are my dinky little cups and so yeah hope you enjoyed that and I do hope you come back and join me when I will show you how to put together the sweet little tray um, as you can see it's got these nice raised edges okay and it's a super little size as well perfect for one coffee pot and two coffee cups um, so yeah thank you very much for joining me today and I will be back with another tutorial for you very shortly
Bye.